Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, Danny Lambert with Plush Republic here, continuing the MailChimp series. Uh, this next video is on how to create a segment within your audiences. So what a segment allows you to do, especially on the free plan where you're only allowed to have one audience, is then break that audience up into various different segments that you may want to target. For example, uh, if it is the winter in the Northeast and I am an e-commerce shop, I wouldn't want to send the same message to someone uh, in the South who's still in hot weather, for example, Florida, uh, selling winter coats uh, if there's not going to be a cold season for them. So I would want to segment them by uh, their geography. Maybe I want to segment them by their sex, if they're male or female, a variety of different things. So segments allow you to chop up your audience and do segmented, appropriate uh, messaging based on some criteria that you have available to you. So on the home page here, I would go into audiences. And what I'll do within here is uh, go down to settings. And within settings, I want to uh, manage my contacts and click segments. So right now I have none, but let's go ahead and create one. So I'll click create segment. And this is where you start to tack on the criteria that you want. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that uh, I've been adding a tag called blog subscribers. So I want contacts that match any or all of these criteria. So let's start with any. Um, I can say uh, tags is a blog subscriber. And then if I preview this, you'll see that I have one, two, three, four. And that's pretty good, but say I also just added email address contains Plush Republic. Now I preview that segment. It's five, right? All of my little fake email subscribers that I put in here have the domain of Plush Republic. And because I set the criteria to match any, it's saying it either has to have a tag of blog subscriber or an email address that contains Plush Republic. So although only four have blog subscriber, all of them have the domain of Plush Republic. So that um, makes it available to all of them. If I switch this to all in preview, it'll then bring it back down to four because although five of them have the domain of Plush Republic, only four of those have blog subscriber. And now you'll notice only one of these has their birthday set. Uh, so if I edit this further with it being matches all, and say that birthday is not blank, and I preview this, now it cuts it down to one. Uh, so although this is very rudimentary, you can see how you would be able to tack these onto each other to make a very uh, robust targeting. You could say, you know, state equal to any state in New England, sex equal to female, and previous uh, categories clicked on on our website equals like sundresses or whatever it may be, and that's a very hyper-targeted segment that you can create and then you can now use this segment uh, to target your campaigns towards them. Uh, so you just preview this once I have this and now I have that one and I would go ahead and save this segment and it would be, you want to make it very descriptive. So I would just name my test for this and say blog subscribers with birth date not equal to no. Again that's a very ridiculous audience but you get the general gist of that's how you would create that segment and make something descriptive enough that you would know what it is somewhere in the future. And now that I've saved it, uh, I'll have that available for targeting in the future. And just hop back here so we can see what that looks like. I come in, I go to segments, and now you see that I have uh, that segment available to us. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned. We have a whole bunch more exciting MailChimp tutorials uh, coming along. Very shortly, we'll get into how to create campaigns and templates and emails and all the really exciting stuff. Have a good one.